customized for you and your professional field. You'll learn how to develop a standout resume using the proper keywords and phrases in your industry to catch the recruiter's eye. You'll also learn ways to navigate salary increases, interview do's and don'ts, managing your brand, navigating job or career changes, and much more. Why gamble with no plan? Bet on your success. The first step is believing. You can do it, and the next step is cracking this book open and getting started. Don't waste another day procrastinating. Purchase on Amazon or by going to the website, sixfiguresby30.com. That's the number six, figures by the number 30.com. Sixfiguresby30.com. attempted to do but we got to get a better recording what you just heard was the illustrious South Carolina State marching 101 band bringing us back from the break yeah <laughs> oh my gosh whenever I hear that song man it's called hello I think I think it's just called hello and most people that attended an HBCU has some song you know, similar to that, or I don't know if it's even the same song played across the board, but that song is called Hello, and they've been playing that song. The band has been playing that song since I was a, a student, not even when I was a student, before I was a student. We used to go to South Carolina State's homecoming games um, uh, when I was a kid. My father attended there. He didn't graduate. He attended there. Uh, I have several aunts and uncles that went to South Carolina State, and so every year, it's a tradition. Uh, we were voted the number one HBCU homecoming in the country by Southern Bell Magazine. <laughs> yeah. And so, so I've been hearing that song since I was a little kid, man, and they still play it today. Uh, we're going to get into a little college football talk here. Welcome back to hour number two of the Doug Stewart Show. Yeah. But I just wanted to play that. We're going to try to b- find a better a better rendition of where it's more clear. But, uh, yeah, that's the March of 101 right there. Yes, sir. 
been? How have you been? I haven't seen you since I don't know when. We are the marching 101 band. We got the best band, best band, best band in the land. All right, this is our number two of the Doug Stewart Show, man. Let's talk a little bit of college football. Yeah, the Funky Four, the four biggest games in college football this weekend, or the four biggest games that I'm looking most forward to. Uh, Let's start out with number four. I'm looking forward to the Houston Cougars taking on the Navy Midshipmen. That's right, it's totally different. Coach Tom Herman said about dealing with Navy's offense, all the assignments, run fits, and even where you line up on defense are different. We have had huge success against the run in previous games, but uh, that's a conventional two-back spread. Uh, We haven't played against a triple option, and so it's going to be a different, different thing for us. That's the head coach of the Houston Cougars and taking on Navy, CBS, 3 p.m. Eastern time uh, tomorrow. The thing about playing Navy, if you follow college football, is year in and year out, they run triple option. And teams that aren't used to playing against that, they usually struggle. So we'll see if Houston can keep it going, this hot streak that they're on, and their quarterback, Greg Ward Jr., if they can keep it together and get it done against the feisty Navy midshipmen. That's game number four. Game number three I'm looking most forward to this weekend, the Washington Huskies on the road taking on the Oregon Ducks. 7.30 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time tomorrow. All right. So Washington, after coming from that big win last week, 5-0 and overall, 2-0 and in the Pac-12, are coming off a 44-6 victory over Stanford and are ranked in the top 10 for the fifth consecutive week in the longest such streak since a nine-week stint during the 2000 season. So it's been a long time. The Ducks are 2-3, and 0-2 oh in the conference. They have lost three consecutive games. It will be vying to try to avoid their first four-game losing streak since the end of the 2006 season. Um, I'm pretty high on Washington after watching them play last week, destroying Stanford. I like what I saw. They look like a solid ball club. Uh, So game number three on your Funky Four biggest games this week in college football is the Oregon Ducks hosting the Washington Huskies. Game number two in college football I'm looking most forward to is the Tennessee Volunteers taking on the Texas A&M Aggies. I want to see if if Tennessee going to drop the cookies or not, which I fully expect them to do. Uh, I think they're for Gazy. I don't think they're for real. Undefeated Tennessee, number nine in the country, taking on number eight, Texas A&M. The Vols have tra- trailed in four of their first five games and needed overtime to get by Appalachian State in the opener. Uh, once again, I don't believe in Tennessee. We'll see what happens. We'll talk about this game on Monday and the biggest game. The game that I'm looking most forward to this weekend in college football is still a Florida State-Miami game. That's right, the Seminoles versus the Hurricanes. I don't know the status of this game. They're saying they're still going to play it. Hurricane Matthew coming through. But Florida State is coming into the clash with more concerns than simply the weather. After starting out ranked number four in the preseason poll with with four first-place votes, the Seminoles have lost two of their last three games including a 63-20 thumping by Louisville and a 37-35 heartbreaker on the game's final play to North Carolina last week. Uh, Brad Kaya playing good for the University of Miami. Mark Rick, the new head coach down there. They're undefeated, number 10 in the country. Um, So I'm looking most forward to the number one game in college football this weekend. Even though it's not the same, it's not like it was back in the day, I am looking very forward to seeing Florida State take on the University of Miami Hurricanes. And lastly, you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show. Lastly, uh, keeping it statewide, the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets on the road taking on Pitt, the Pitt Panthers. Um, Pitt is a six-point favorite in this game. Um, Georgia Tech three and two on the year, and Pitt right now is three and two on the year as well. And also the other game, obviously, we already talked about it a little bit earlier. And you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show. The Georgia Bulldogs on the road. Williams Rice Stadium. Concerns from Hurricane Matthew abound. The game has been moved to Sunday 
uh, as of right now. We'll keep our eyes on that. The Gamecocks are a seven-point underdog. The Bulldogs seven-point favorite, obviously. I don't believe in the Bulldogs this year, man. Struggling a little bit with Jacob Eason uh, getting destroyed a couple of weeks ago by Ole Miss. Uh, so, yeah, the Georgia Bulldogs on the road. williams Rice Stadium taking on the South Carolina Gamecocks. Those are your funky four biggest games this weekend, as well as talk a little bit about the Georgia Bulldogs and the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets. Yes, sir. Love me some college football. Said it many times before, man. I like college football more than I like the NFL. It just seems more uh, passionate, the pageantry of college football, man. The fact that these players most of the times comes from those states. The players or the teams are stocked with players from that state. So there's a lot more uh, camaraderie to the whole thing. You know, there's a lot more passion. They care a lot more. College football fans care a lot more because it's their team. You know, pros come and go. You know, Deion Sanders plays for the Falcons this week. Next week, next week he plays for the 49ers. A year or two down the road, he plays for the Dallas Cowboys. No, college football is all about the passion, all about, you know, the, the history of the teams and of the games and the divisions and the conferences. Love me some college football. We'll talk Funky Four NFL here in a second. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, well, as a matter of fact, when we get back from the break, we got entertainment coming up. We got to get to. We're going to talk some entertainment, uh, birthdays, uh, entertainment story or two. Um, and then we'll jump back into the chat, read some of your chat. We got to do the Boy Penis Awards coming up a little bit later to the Buster of the Week in sports entertainment and beyond. Your nominees are Layla Ali, uh, Odell Beckham Jr., Chip Kelly, and the folks that took Shawty Lowe to the Blue Flame for his funeral. And then... We also got the Sports and More show today with Vince and Reg at 12 noon Eastern time on the Stewart Media and Entertainment Network. We got the pre, uh, the premiere of uh, Nathan Ivey, the Nathan Ivey show on the Stewart Media and Entertainment Network uh, around 2 p.m. today. So we got a lot to get to today, man. We got a lot to get to in a short time to do it. All right. We'll be back in three minutes. Don't go away. This is the Doug Stewart Show. Entertainment up next. Yes, this is your humble host, Marcus Harper. And make sure you check out my show, the Marcus Harper Podcast, on the Stewart Media and Entertainment Network. Yes, hop aboard this train of thought weekly. 60 minutes of work. I got you. Sports talk, soul beats, and life. <laughs> Again, the Marcus Harper Podcast, weekly on the SME Network. Check me out. Life is good. Doug Stewart here to tell you about my man Smooth at SmoothTickets.com. Smooth's got the tickets for everything that you need in the world of sports, concerts, or theater. I don't care what it is. I don't care where it's at in this great land of ours. Well, man, Smooth at SmoothTickets.com. He got them tickets. I'm telling you. Boxing, baseball, NBA, NFL, country music concerts, hard rock, hip-hop, theater, Broadway. He's got them all. And if he don't have them, there ain't none. I'm telling you. SmoothTickets.com. Once again, that's SmoothTickets.com. Or give them a call at 404-374-1150. Once again, that's 404-374-1150. You got to tell them, though, that I sent you. You got to tell them that Doug Stewart sent you. Once again, SmoothTickets.com. That's SmoothTickets.com. Yeah! The Sleeper Pick, the guy only you believe in. In one-week fantasy football on DraftKings, he can be the difference. So trust your gut. Trust your...